Air-driven hydraulic pumps are excellent alternatives to both manually operated hand pumps and electrically powered hydraulic pumps. Not only are they quicker than pumping by hand, but they are very reliable and safe as well. Not having any electrical connections is also a big advantage. As its name suggests, an air-driven pump gets its power from a shop compressed air line as found in most workshops, sites and labs. Let's take a look at the parts inside an air-driven pump. The air-driven pump has an air section and a hydraulic section. These two sections are separated by seals. The air section is on top and has a large piston. This piston is pushed down by air pressure from a compressed air line, and when it gets to the bottom of its stroke, a spring pushes it back up again. This motion will form a pump that cycles. We won't look too closely at the mechanics of the air valve which controls this up and down motion. Different makers use different sorts of air valves. We'll just focus on the hydraulic and air principle. Let's look at how an air-driven pump produces its hydraulic pressure. In basic form, air-driven hydraulic pumps operate on the principle of differential areas. A bigger air piston drives a smaller diameter hydraulic plunger to provide a pressure ratio. The pressure ratio determines the maximum output pressure. This difference in areas using low pressure air over a large area to generate high pressure fluid over a small area is called intensification. It is very useful for hydraulics people. A compressed air line in most installations only go up to around 7 bar of air pressure. If the pistons were the same size, that would result in only 7 bar of hydraulic pressure on the piston below. By making the hydraulic piston area smaller in relation to the air piston, you achieve a pressure ratio, meaning that with the same 7 bar of air pressure, you can get a much larger hydraulic output, albeit at a slower rate. In our example, our air piston is 37 mm in diameter, and the hydraulic piston is 13 mm in diameter. This results in an area of roughly 10.75 cm squared on the air piston, and an area of about 1.33 cm squared on the hydraulic piston. This results in our example pump having a ratio of around 8 to 1. This means if you were to feed in 5 bar of air pressure on the top, you would get 40 bar of hydraulic pressure on the bottom. Our pump models run right up to 105 to 1 ratio. That gives up to 740 bar of hydraulic pressure from a standard shop air supply. At the other end of the ratio scale, you get up to 3.6 litres per minute hydraulic output at free flow. This is how, in principle, the air-driven pumps work. Air-driven hydraulic pumps cycle automatically. When compressed air is first applied to the pump, it will cycle at its maximum speed, producing maximum hydraulic flow. At this stage, the pump is acting as a transfer pump, filling the pressure receiver with liquid. The pump will then gradually start to cycle at a slower rate as the pressure in the receiver increases and offers more resistance to the reciprocating differential piston. Pumps stop automatically when the output pressure force and the air drive force is balanced to create a stall condition. At this point, the pump will maintain pressure without energy consumption, thus providing an economical source for hydraulic power. The pumps will start to cycle again with a slight drop in the outlet pressure or increase in the air drive pressure due to very low frictional resistance. There are various models we can offer that have different ratios. You just pick the one that best matches your requirement for either maximum outlet pressure or maximum displacement. Serum Hydraulics can offer equipment which uses these air driven pumps. First, starting simple, is our PTRM, which is an air driven pump in a framework with or without a hydraulic reservoir. It also has the air control equipment built in, so you can simply plug a compressed air line into the unit, hook up an outlet hose, and you're ready to go. You can use this for basic pressure testing or dispensing fluids. We have a nice overview video of this product if you'd like to find out more. Secondly, we have a more complex PTRA unit, which is the same as the PTRM, except it comes with a PLC control box, allowing you to program automated cyclical pressure tests for products that go through many pressure cycles in their life like radiators, fuel tanks or composite vessels. We also have a video overview of this product, which you can find here. We would suggest this product for longer automated cyclical pressure testing. Thirdly, we have a duo unit, which uses both an air-driven pump and a manual hand pump side by side. This gives you ultimate versatility for pressure testing and dispensing fluids. You use the air pump to fill up a test vessel quickly with fluid before using the hand pump to pump up to final test pressure with more control. You can find out more about this product by looking at the web page and brochure. We have also done special installations of these air pumps for bespoke requirements. 
Contact us to talk about air-driven pumps and your application. We'd be more than happy to help. As the hand pump experts, we've got solutions for a wide range of demanding applications. If you need more tips and advice, talk to us today. Comment below or find out more at serum-hydraulics.co.uk.